October wasn't exactly the busiest month in terms of game releases, at least for the ones that I'm looking out for, and compared to September, which I feel like there was a cozy game coming out every single day. There were still a couple of notable releases like Persona 5 Royal, which I've actually been waiting a long time to hit the switch for. It's one of my all-time favorite RPGs and I've wanted it since I got my first Switch, and of course there was also Bayonetta 3, though unfortunately I've never played a Bayonetta game. I do know a lot of Bayo fans all across the globe are very excited for that one. I'm definitely not complaining though because I feel like the month allowed me to catch up to a lot of my backlog and also prepare for November. There are some really good releases coming out this month, including probably one of my most anticipated games of 2022. By the way, before we get started, welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Kat. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you like casual games and comfy vibes, consider sticking around and checking out my other videos, maybe even subscribing. We'd love to have you around. I'm so happy to kick off our list with a new cozy indie title that I think will be a new favorite among many. It's releasing right on November 1st and it's Lonesome Village. Immediately my first impressions when I saw the artwork and screenshots, I thought it kind of looked like a Legend of Zelda inspired, but with more wholesome, lifesome elements. This game takes us to a quiet little lonesome village, which unfortunately experienced a calamity that destroyed all their homes. There are puzzles and dungeons to explore in a mysterious magical tower where you'll also find and help villagers to escape so they can get back home safely. You also get a cute little home of your very own, which you can customize inside and out. There's even gardening and fishing, perfect for little breaks between your perilous adventures. How to Say Goodbye coming out on November 3rd is described as a narrative puzzle game, which has you playing as someone who wakes up as a brand new ghost in this strange place with disoriented spirits. The goal is to basically help these lost ghosts find their way out and move on from this sort of limbo. Because as it turns out, there's a mysterious wizard actually holding all of them captive in this world. It's simple but also very artistic visuals inspired by picture books, along with the music helps tell this tale of dealing with grief, but also kindness and how your ghost can help others find their peace. And I'm guessing from the title, it'll teach them how to say goodbye, both to their previous lives, but also their own past selves. It sounds like a very heartfelt and memorable journey, one that I can't wait to go on with all of you. We've talked about this next game a few times on the channel already, and I know a lot of us are looking forward to it. It is Harvestella finally coming out on November 4th, which to me is like Square Enix's answer to Rune Factory. They are one of the most well-known RPG powerhouses after all, so I'm happy to see them finally dabble into the farming life sim genre with something a little more laid back, relaxing, but also still keeping some action RPG elements. Harvestella does have a demo out in the eShop, which I haven't tried out yet personally. I really wanted to wait for the full game to come out, but it is there if you want to try it out first before buying and maybe help you out with your decision. It Takes Two is another game I've recommended a couple times before and also coming out on November 4th. I'm really excited to see more couch co-op games on the Switch and especially one of this level and caliber. <laughs> This game is just such a gem and has deservingly received a lot of praise when it released on other platforms. It Takes Two is about Cody and May, and they are going through some challenges in their relationship when they suddenly get turned into dolls and get trapped in a magical world. This talking book but also love guru appears and sort of guides them through a plethora of challenges that they have to work together through. Seemingly very random, but they are metaphors for their real life problems as well and overcoming their differences. So besides a super fun and sometimes chaotic gameplay, there's also a lovely touching little story. I know I get some comments from you asking for games to play with your significant others and this might be worth checking out. Now I might date myself just a little bit here. <laughs> 
but for all my 90s babies and for others who also grew up with brats yes brats dolls <laughs> it was brats over barbies for me. It's a super random fun fact, but as someone who loves nostalgic things and experiences that just remind me of the good old days. This game was a real surprise to see when they first announced it coming to the Switch. This game is especially for the inner cat child in me. There is fashion, there is makeup, there are cute little activities you can do with your other brats girls. <laughs> I know I'm talking about this from the excitement of someone who grew up on brats, but this will obviously be a good pick for my younger audience as well. It's like a dress up game, but brats plus other mini games and just living your best brats life, okay? Also coming out on November 4th. I was always a Nintendo kid growing up and so were the rest of my family. So I wasn't exactly exposed to many Sega titles. I think I played Sonic a couple of times at the arcade, but that's about it. But I do have to say this newest Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers, looks amazing and might be the very game that'll get me into this franchise. It's what I would sort of expect a 3D Sonic game to be but also so much more. In usual Sonic style, it's a very fast-paced race across the different worlds and different levels, while also tackling some challenges and puzzles along the way. I don't know much else about it besides that, but as I always tell you guys, I get so excited when other fans of a certain game also is excited, and I know there is a lot looking forward to this game. Feel free to let me know below if you might recommend this game to me or other new Sonic players. If not, that's okay too, but it is coming out on November 8th for those interested. Speaking of nostalgia and video games, this next game brings us literally to the dawning of video games with Atari 50 The Anniversary Collection. This interactive journey through the past 50 years of iconic Atari history comes out on November 11th and there will be more than 90 games which is incredible. Of course, including so many games that haven't been seen in ages because the only way to access it would be to have the original Atari consoles or game cartridges. For video gaming fans or even new gamers who want to experience where and how gaming got started, I think this is a worthy pickup for your collection. I just love little compilations like these. I love retro gaming as well, as you guys know, so I'm definitely looking out for this one. Not to downplay all the amazing, wonderful, incredible releases I've mentioned so far, but this will probably not surprise you when I say I'm most excited to play for this one, and it is of course Pokemon's brand new Generation 9 titles, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Not to be dramatic, but I'm so obsessed with this game already and it hasn't even come out yet. Pokemon has been doing a great job dropping little teasers and trailers of new Pokemon, new gym leaders, and so on. Through the past months and I really tried, you guys. I tried so hard not to look at most of them because I wanted to keep it a surprise for when we finally play the game, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> Shocker, right? From what I did see, this game looks so good. I know some fans or non-fans won't agree, but we'll talk about that in another video. As someone who grew up with Pokemon since the first generation, this game looks like a dream. It's the very first fully open world Pokemon game. I love the new Pokemon designs and this region that is inspired by Spain. The three starters are absolutely adorable. Hashtag Team Fuecoco. <laughs> Let me know below who your starter will be if you've already chosen. And yes, I will definitely be playing Playing this game on the channel when it comes out, so please subscribe and keep an eye out for that if you're interested. I can sit here and dote on this game forever, but since I will be dedicating more videos to this, let's move on for now and revisit when it comes out on November 18th. 
from pocket monster battles to dance battles just dance is back with their yearly release of course just dance 2023 and according to ubisoft this game welcomes a new era of just dance now with online multiplayer character customization 3d immersive worlds and new songs and modes all year round for a never-ending dance party all year long. I don't know about you, but I can get behind that. My family and I are actually a fan of Just Dance and we play it anytime we get together for game night or just whenever we feel like dancing to some favorite songs, I guess. I'm excited to dance to BTS songs. <laughs> so I am curious which other K-pop songs that made it to the list this year. There's some of our favorite ones to dance to as well as the Latin music. Dance night is serious business here, okay? <laughs> and as for our last title, it's another tale about another ghost the outbound ghost. Like How to Say Goodbye, it is also about helping others cross over in the afterlife, but this time it's an adventure RPG format and it brings you to the town of Outbound, which is a literal form of a ghost town. It is a town inhabited by different ghosts with unresolved issues from their lives on Earth, and it's up to you to unravel the mysteries of the town go on battles, solve puzzles, and more to help the residents eventually find peace and become free of this version of Limbo. And the more you help, the more you also uncover about your own mysterious past. The art direction and even some of the gameplay elements remind me of Paper Mario with a little paper-like ghosts, but the environment is a beautiful, very atmospheric 3D. I tried the demo for Outbound Ghost on Steam and it's been a real delight, so I'm looking forward to continuing this game when it hits the Switch on November 25. Which of these games are you most excited for or were there any that I might have missed but made it to your wish list? Feel free to leave them down below and if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching as always. Be kind to yourselves and I will see you next time. <laughs>